we're going to talk next about a herniated disc. Now, as physical therapists, we all know that's one of the most common diagnoses that you're going to see. 80 to 90% of folks in this country do have lower back pain. They have weak muscles in their lower back. They have poor stability in their lower back and their hips. In this case, we're going to assume this person has a, a posterior lateral left disc herniation. And what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate with the leg press, you can use this with that type of diagnosis. What I did is I'm changing the angle of the seat to make sure that I'm not causing compression of the spine by doing a semi-recumbent seated position. In this position, you take pressure off the spine, take pressure off, off the joints, and again, you can still get some quad strength. One of the biggest issues with a disc herniation, if they do have any radicular pain or they do have any weakness in their leg, it's the specific myotome that, creates the, that is created in the weakness within the leg. So whether it's a quad, whether it's tibialis anterior, whether it's the everters, you're still, you have to isolate those muscles. So we're gonna demonstrate how to do the leg press with a disc herniation that's not acute, but it's not very chronic either. It's pretty much in between those two. They're getting better, but they're, it's still there. One of the unique features of this leg press is you can totally lay it down and you can have a person lay on their back and they can, they can perform the leg press without having a lot of compression on their spine and also patients that do have a disc herniation or they do have any back pain, they can actually do it in this position as well. Besides a semi-recumbent position, they can do it when they're lying on their back. So we're going to demonstrate that. So this supine position for some posterior lateral disc herniations is very comfortable. When they lie supine on their back and they're performing this activity, they're still gaining some quad strength. And what you can do with these folks is you can have them work on their pelvic floor, they can work on their trunk while they're actually performing this activity. So I encourage you to work with these patients with this type of machine so you can actually gain the strength they need in their trunk, gain the strength they need in their legs when they have a diagnosis for lower back pain, SI dysfunction, or disc herniation. Music